we will be finishing this blouse with hooks and eye in the center in the front we need a placket for this and there is a pattern for the placket you have to cut as per this size and again it's up to you and how much you want the neck depth you can keep it up to here the hooks or we can increase it depends on you how much you want so i'm keeping it around seven and a half and the size of this pattern is seven inches and when finished it will be six and a half these are the same elements but i'm keeping it up to eight and a half for that i have cut main fabric and the lining fabric this is inside hook placket so we'll prepare the placket first i'll show it to you Now the placket is ready and this is the measurement, this is 8 and a half and 1 inch. I have attached this placket on the left hand side lining. I put an edge stitch here. So now we will be attaching this main end lining fabric keeping this placket inside. This is the left hand side front. We will put a stitch here at 1 cm. We have stitched at 1 cm here. Now we will turn the piece inside out now we will attach main fabric and the lining all around putting a stitch here after that we will put a top stitch here I put a stitch here at 1 cm this is the right hand side and this is the left hand side and we will turn this inside out now we will put a stitch all around attaching lining to the main fabric and we will put a top stitch here also We have attached all around. We put a edge stitch in the center. Both the front pieces are ready. Now we will be attaching front and back. Keeping right on right here and we will be attaching shoulders. We will put a stitch here in both the shoulders. I have stitched here at 1 cm. Now we will overlock the edges here and here. We have done the overlocking both the shoulders. Now we will attach the sleeves. When you fold the sleeves, you can see there is a difference between front and back. The more curvier goes to the front. Now we will be sewing at 1 cm. In the shoulder, the overlocked seam, what we have done the overlocking now, the seam should go towards back and we will put a stitch here at both the edge. Then after that, we will attach the sleeves.
while sewing match all the notches. and do the same on the other side. If you follow the notches and the seam elements given in the pattern, so nothing will go wrong. Both the sleeves are attached here. Now we will overlock the edges, both the sleeves. After that, we will sew the sides. We have attached the sides and overlocked the edges and the seam elements here we have given is 1.25 inches for the sides and make sure armhole seams are matching. Now we will finish the neck band and we have to put a hook and eye here. So we have already prepared the neck band. 